Good morning. This is what the studio looks like for this painting. I've got it set up uh, to take the successive photos on the camera. So I'm doing this part with my phone. Um, and I will probably stay behind the camera. There's my uh, photograph that I'm working with. I want to show you some things in that, so I'm just going to leave it right here. And here's the painting thus far. It should it should get complete today. Um, I'm working at building up more of the detail that goes on in here. So I can show you on this, maybe. So if I go and zoom in, see all those hairs? There's all those hairs. That's what's making up the the mass, the volume that's in here. And sometimes it, you can see through it, but it's still there. See, they still all got that. And without it, the painting was really lacking. So I'm, I'm going in there and uh, kind of figuring out how that needs to be added in there. And I'm trying to get most of that prior to putting on um, the top layer. So this painting is very much started from the background and worked its way up because there's all this fuzzy fuzziness in the background, which I really liked. Um, and it's turning out to be a very painterly effect that I'm able to get building up with glazes from the back, which is lighter to the foreground, which is darker. The last painting we did was totally the opposite. Um, so anyway, I realized as I studied these a little bit more, I was trying to find out exactly how many of these petals were supposed to be in this plume and come to find out those are not the petals. Those are the stamens. This is a very male painting, even though it looks really femi. Um, so anyway, this is how life goes sometimes. But as I'm looking at it, I've got the um, this funny little eyeball thing is like the seed pod when it's done. And I've got a, a couple of little short blossoms there, but I don't have an actual flower. Uh, the little five-petaled white flower. So I'm going to put that right here. I don't know if you can see it. I, I sketched out where those five petals are going to go. So... So that flower, so it kind of makes everything complete. It's really got what what the plant entails. And then plus, I'm not all that happy with that corner of the painting anyway. So I think it'll be a great place to add that flower. And um, I have a photograph of it on my phone that you can't see right now. But here is the palette that I've been working with. I kind of cleaned it up this morning, so... I know you're thinking that's clean. Well, yeah, because I what I do is I pull from all the colors. And this side, I've got white in the middle that I can pull from for either side. So we've got our blues and greens and reds here. Um, I'll blend the orange and then the green and yellow and red will make a brown. Sometimes you want to put a blue in there anyway. And to get all the... Um, this sort of color where it's not a lot of pigment, but you can still get a glow of color coming through and through, sort of like a, a watercolor effect, but it's not really water, it's glazing. Um, that's what these, this is my, my medium on either side here so that I can pull from it if I want it to be in the cool tones and I can pull from it over here if I want it to be in the warm tones. So in other words, I kind of feed into that center and then the center, center gets all messy and muddy and I got to clean it up and so anyway uh that's that's kind of how I did this uh maybe I'll show you some more of the painting once I get to that part but right now I think what I want to do is I want to paint that white petals in there so that's just going to be some basic blocking in and I will come back and show you some other painting later